Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another back to school video. This was supposed to be up last week actually, but there was a bunch of construction going on like all week last week. Literally every time I tried to film it was like, oh, the construction crew is here right outside your window. So this week I'm going to do two instead of one just to make up for it. And so the next video will be up hopefully on Thursday, I'm thinking. But for this video I am just going to give some advice. I have gone through high school and college, so I think I know some good advice, I guess. These are the things that I've like looked back on and either learned or learned while going through the process, so I figured why not share some advice. So I'm going to do five tips for about high school and five tips about college, and so yeah, let's get started. For my first tip from high school, lockers. Um, share lockers. Why not? Who cares? Um, I had a locker on the third floor and most of my classes were on the second floor, so I was in my friend's locker who was on the second floor. I also put books in my sister's locker. I had people in my locker. It was just a whole thing. I mean, don't put too many people in there, but I shared a locker for a long time with four people, <laughs> so, I mean, four including me. And that was fine. I mean, it was kind of crazy, but it was just like the best locker, so we all just formed into that one. I mean, why not? Um, and that way you can you know, have more time and passing period if you want to, like, you know, gossip or something. Some other things that I would like to talk about are, um, getting involved. Like, get involved in something because, I mean, I don't think I knew anybody who was just not in anything, but it, it's just nice to, you know, have something to do during the day. I was personally in marching band, so you make a lot of friends who have common interests. You can join whatever you want. It doesn't even need to be like a sport or music or theater or anything. It could be like yearbook or something, you know. And then you can make friends that way and you're not so bored at home when you get home, not just watching TV. You have something to do and it just gives you a good experience in whatever you plan on doing. Okay, my third tip now would be to not worry about drama. When you're in high school, everything means everything to you. But I'm saying as an older person now, and even when I was in high school I wasn't very dramatic, um, which I don't know if it's just me not caring a lot, but <laughs> I just, you know, don't get too worked up in the drama. It's not going to be, you know, the end all be all if somebody likes the same person you do, or if the guy doesn't like you, or if someone thinks your hair is weird, like, it's just, you know, minuscule things that you don't even need to worry about and then later in life you're gonna look back on it and be like why was I so worried about that like it means nothing to me now which kind of goes to my fourth one not to care what people think about you because in high school um at least for me I cared a lot what people like thought of me like when I got dressed in the morning I'd be like I have to dress you know cool or something because people are gonna know and people do not know. I mean I guess if you came to school wearing something totally weird people would notice but I mean you wear whatever your heart desires. You do you and don't let anybody tell you different. The last thing I want to say is that, about high school at least, is that you shouldn't let your high school experience define you because it won't define you. If you're you know struggling in school or if you were kind of nerdy geek or something it does not matter after you graduate like if and when you go to college no one is going to care like no one's gonna remember that you embarrassed yourself one time in chemistry or something you know like no one's going to notice and no one is going to care and even if you tell people like you know when I got to college I was like oh I was a marching band in high school and people were just like oh yeah cool which that's like a stereotypically nerdy thing to do and no one cares. Literally, no one cares. You could be a football player and be friends with a marching band kid and be friends with a stoner. Like, it literally doesn't matter. So don't worry about, you know, if you're kind of stressed out in high school, in your high school experience, like, just know later it's going to be better and that nothing is going to matter because everybody's way nicer once you're out of high school if they're not nice to you at that point. Now for my five college tips I have, and I'm going to try and make these quick so this video is a little bit shorter. First tip I have is make the most of your resources, which could mean a lot of things. Um, particularly make use of your counselor, because they're there, you're practically paying for them. I mean, you're paying a million dollars to be at school anyway. Um, 
utilize your counselor just for like making sure you're taking the right courses if you need questions and you don't know what to ask and you can always just go to your counselor make an appointment with your counselor and talk to them befriend your counselor because they will look out for you if they know who you are i always went to my counselor like all the time more than the average person probably but i you know was always checking in and making sure i was taking the right courses and making sure i was graduating on time and it's very important so don't not go because you will regret it another thing to make use of is a library um personally and I'm going to get more on this later. I tried not to buy any books because I'm not made of money, all right? <laughs> so I would just go to the library, and if they had the library, the book that you needed on reserve, because they usually have books on reserve, then don't get the book. Like, if you just have to read a few things in the book, because that's how most of the things in college are, you only need it for, like, three assignments, and then you bought, like, a $300 book for no reason. Um, you can just go to the library and use that, or look it up online and see if you can find it on, like, for free a PDF version of it or something. The second thing I have is be aware of your health, which they're gonna offer you a meal plan most of the time, most colleges do, and most colleges have an unlimited option. I'm gonna tell you now, do not get the unlimited <laughs> because if you're worried at all about getting the freshman 15, you're gonna use that limited meal plan like to your heart's desire and you're just gonna eat way too much, which you really don't need to. You don't need to go down to the cafeteria like five times a day. You don't even eat five times a day in your own house. Like get some snacks and put them in your dorm room and then just get, you know, like a 15 meal block for the week or something, you know? Now go to the gym. Most colleges have a free gym that comes with your um, payments. And so utilize it. Don't not go to the gym, you know, it's free. You're paying for it. I guess it's not free. You're paying for it, so you might as well go. And that way, you know, you don't have to do a lot. Just go, like, twice a week, even. Just go, like, with your friends. Get a whole group together. Everyone usually wants to go to the gym, at least as far as I know. Um, and just run or just, you know, take a class or something. We had a bunch of classes at my gym um, at ISU. So it's a good time and a way to... Be healthy. Another tip I have is to use your free time wisely. Uh, make sure you get a job, get an internship, get involved in a sorority or fraternity or some community service or something because you're going to be sitting around a lot in between classes and it's better to use that time instead of watching TV on the couch or something. Get involved, like make some spare money, get some experience maybe a little bit of both, or, you know, do some community service, something that you can put on your resume that shows that you did more than, like, just the minimum, you know? I was only in a fraternity for a little bit, but I didn't really like it, so I didn't do it, but I worked a lot of the time in college, um, just, like, on campus and stuff, and so it's just important to stay, like, focused on your goal at the end of college which is to get a good job, so you might as well work on that while you're there. Another thing is to be aware of your money, which I kind of mentioned earlier with your books, but also like when you're eating out or going out to parties and underage drinking, um, <laughs> but be aware of what you're spending. Don't just like spend, 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 because it's going to come back to bite you in the ass, and you're going to be like, why did I spend $10 on this shitty pizza at 3 in the morning? when I could have spent the $10 on toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know, something useful, like groceries or something. And so just be aware of what you're spending and don't, you know, spend too much and go too crazy just because you're on your own. It's going to be a little bit of shell shock probably in your first few years, but then you'll get used to it after a while. But just be aware of your spending in general. And my last tip is to just remember why you're there. It's going to be very tempting to skip class, and I've definitely skipped class, and sometimes I skipped class more than once and regretted it, aka my History of Africa class, that I skipped way too many classes, and then I got there, and there was a test that day, and I was unprepared, and let's just say I did not get a good grade in that course, <laughs> so even though I busted my ass after that, it was a pain. And it was because I skipped a few classes. So you're paying for the classes. At least show up so you can find out when assignments are due, you know? Like, you can go take a nap later. You're in college. You can skip a class if you want to. But don't make a huge thing out of it. 
because it will come back to haunt you later in life. Also, watch it on the partying. Just don't become one of those people who parties too hard at college and they end up flunking out and not doing anything with their life because <laughs> they partied too much at school. Like, have fun on the weekends, maybe even on a Thursday, but don't drink, like, every day or party every day because that's not gonna work out for you. Like, let me just tell you. But, in the end of all of it, um, just have fun. Well, in high school and in college, it's gonna be a blast. As much as a pain in the ass it is sometimes, like, you're there, make the most of it, and have a good time. Like, have a good time in class, have a good time out of class. Um, have a good time with your friends, make new friends, you know, branch out and have new experiences because that's what school is about, high school and college is about, you know, branch out and explore and find yourself, I guess. So that's it for the tips I have, and this is probably a little bit long, but whatever. I had some good tips, I think at least. So there's going to be another back to school video on Thursday, and if you want, you can watch my last one, which was a room tour. I'm going to link that at the end of the video. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe and comment below with other tips maybe other people can use or if you agree or disagree with my tips that I had and I will talk to you guys soon. Alright, bye!